Today has been a fantastic day for Charlie okay? and yeah. We've had our first onesie walk, not only to raise funds for the charity, but to raise awareness of the work that we do. And it's been an amazing opportunity to highlight the subject that's really difficult for people to talk about, and especially on a day such as Mother's Day, which can be particularly hard for children and young people and for parents. So to be able to raise awareness of the charity and to ask people to spare a thought for those families for whom Mother's Day is a difficult day and also other days as well. The good thing about Chubber UK is it will create awareness for people that people might want to get in contact with them and maybe get help because I didn't have any help at all. I just sort of went through school growing up and I think at the age of 23 now I'm just, I, I feel like this morning I come to terms with, I've not come to terms with it, but <clears throat> I feel like every year goes by and I'm older now, I'm 23, nearly 24, I'm, I'm starting to try to come to terms with what's going on in my life. I don't really think people understand and to talk to people at that age, because you know, I was that age when it happened to me, so it, it's, it's, quite, it's quite nice to be able to chat to someone who's got, went through the same experience. Because we're doing the onesie walk because we want to help give back to the charity and we were meeting Jerry Essex and explaining to him about what um, the charity does and how it's helped us. It's like a group of people that have been bereaved that come together and talk and like, do activities. Yeah. We make like videos and last time we made an app and we like do different like a whole like project. They like to help other bereaved, bereaved children. children. Like if you've lost someone in your family that's close to you, they'll. They'll help you. Can I watch them? Yeah. It is really hard. It's really hard from growing up from such a young age and without what's happening. You don't, really, you don't really understand it. It's, it's very hard to understand, and I think that's why nurses and doctors and people like that are trying to talk to people like you, like Charles Breedman, to, to try and understand because no one does understand, really.